Hey guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench. And this evening, uh, I wanted to do kind of a special video here on a, another ball bearing topic, uh, something that, you know, comes up quite often actually and I get quite a few questions about from time to time. So the question is, uh, what do you do if you want to replace a ball bearing, uh, you know, with a brand new one here? So right here we're looking at uh, two ball bearings that are identical in, in size, uh, but, you know, if you look closely, uh, this one here, you know, it's in really bad shape. It's really worn out, and this one is nice and clean. And if you listen closely, if you hold these bearings like such here, you can hear that bearing spin, whereas if you do it with this one here, All you really hear is is my finger just kind of, you know, rubbing it, you know, on the outer side there. But you don't hear those those ball bearings, you know, grinding in there. Okay, so you know, ultimately, when you get that bearing noise, uh, you're not really going to be able to remedy that without uh, just replacing the bearing. Sometimes you can clean them up a little bit and you know, uh, you know, get some fresh oil in there. But like in this case, that's not going to you know, really work out and it really needs to be replaced. So the procedure is simple. If you have a caliper, uh, this is a really, really old one actually, but it works just fine. Uh, you know, they make digital ones, you know, primarily these days that are very, very accurate. But all you need to do is uh, take some uh, very simple dimensions. You need to measure the outer dimension of the bearing. Okay, like that and record that measurement, and then take the inner dimension on the inside of the bearing, like that, and record that dimension. And then last, you want to measure the width dimension, like such, okay? And then once you record all those dimensions, you write them down on a piece of paper, then you can go online uh, to pretty much any you know, ball bearing uh, manufacturer, Boca bearing is excellent. And uh, there's there's quite a few uh, others out there. And you can type in those dimensions and you can find replacements, okay? And there's all different kinds of ball bearings. Uh, you know, some of them are exposed like this completely. Some of them are sealed. Uh, some of them have shields that can be removed. You know, there's all different kinds of criteria involved in that. These are just some basic ones. Uh, that, you know, that are completely exposed, and they are stainless steel ball bearings, uh, whereas, uh, you know, uh, there's also ceramic uh, ball bearings, you know, that don't really require any maintenance of any kind, uh, and they're just sealed up. So, uh, you know, in short, you know, that is the basic process for taking down dimensions of your ball bearings. If you're looking to replace, uh, you know, that's a procedure that you can follow. Uh, to find replacements. So I hope that information is helpful and thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button. That way you will get all the updates as to when there are new videos coming out and we'll be seeing you next time.